and Sir Walter Paralock carabiners just arrived. They seem remarkably light. Thin profile. Six ounces. So probably a little bit heavier than regular carabiners, but pretty acceptable. My existing rocket beaners, which I really like. They weigh about, I don't know, 2.25 ounces. So I'll be adding a little bit of weight with the Charlies. Should be worth it though in case I ever have to toss my laundry. Also required when using them are the quick release sister clips. This thing is kind of like a towing quick release. You would attach this to your carabiner or something on the harness that won't move. And then when the wing exerts force on this as it tries to fly away, this will come free and it will then release the speed system. Installing them will require a little bit of an extra step. You've got to take out separating screw. Now we're ready to try to install them on the harness. So that was simple enough. Really easy. Only extra complication is the little separator screw which went right in tightened it down not too tight as per the instructions if you need to use it take the cap off press the button rotate that up and that will release pretty foolproof and hard to accidentally trigger even if you push the button this thing's not going to come out. You have to rotate it all the way. It's going to be all the way up here before it pops. And with a little cap, you're not going to accidentally push the button. Okay, you got the right side one installed. Next step, the speed system. That's going to be more complicated. Right now, my speed system is adjusted a little bit too long. So I've been planning on tightening up this knot so that it's about one inch shorter. But now what I've got to do is compensate for this longer setup. I'm not going to use their black line that they provided. I'm just going to let my loop go through that hole. But if I were to just loop that through the hole right now, the added length of this part would mean that I'm probably about two inches too long right now considering that I need to be an inch shorter. So I'm going to have to adjust my knot. So I made a red mark so that I can measure how long the slack is right now. Zero that red mark and I'm getting about 26 centimeters. So 2.54 centimeters per inch. And then considering that it's doubled over, so I want the whole system to be two inches shorter. So I need to go four times 2.54 longer on this slack. A quick trip to the calculator reveal that I need to have 10 more centimeters of slack for a total of 36. So we'll start by pulling the pin free. Notice that it loops around from the back. So we'll pull the pin free. This will come through the hole like that. It goes through like that. And there we have it ready to go. 
secured this to the bottom of the carabiner with a bowline. Good reliable knot, it's not going to come loose. The speed system still attached to the wing will pull on that and eventually pull that quick release pin out, releasing the speed system. The final modification is going to have to be to my sister clip safety system. I've got these silicone tubes set up so that after I link the sister clips together, I can slide the silicone tubing over both of them and they won't accidentally come apart. These tubes aren't going to fit. I think I've got some some larger tubing. Yeah, clearly that tubing's not going to fit over those. It turns out the fatter tubing I have does fit. Now I just need to do the closure part that keeps it from slipping off. And there we go. That part of the design is complete. That sleeve prevents the speed system from coming apart accidentally. And of course it would still come apart fine if I have to trigger the parallax.